Welcome back everyone to another video in our FE Civil Preparation course. In this video, we are going to cover the first part of the laboratory and field tests on soil. Soil testing is a very important step that we must carry out prior to start any design work. Based on the test's output, we get a better idea about the soil type, strength, density, water content, and many other parameters. Based on that, the designer will be able to come up with the parameters he is going to use during the structural design of the foundations, or to decide to carry out soil improvement or even replacement if required. Soil tests are divided into two main parts, which are field tests, those are carried out at the field, and laboratory tests, those are carried out at the laboratory. First test we are going to discuss today is called water content tests and it is a laboratory test that we carry out to determine the percentage of the water inside the soil. The steps of the water content test is as following. First step, we bring a container and we weigh it empty and we will consider the weight of the empty container to be W1. Next step, we will fill the container with soil in its natural form. Hence, the soil will have a certain weight of water then we will weigh the container including the weight of the soil and we will consider it to be W2. Third step, we will insert the container inside an oven and we will heat it up for 24 hours under temperature of 105 or 110 Celsius to completely evaporate any water content inside the soil and we will weigh the container filled with dry soil and this weight will be considered to be W3. After that, the water content could be calculated as the weight of the water over the weight of the dry soil. So it will equal to W2 minus W3 in order to get the weight of the water over W3 minus W1 in order to get the weight of the soil dry. All multiplied by 100 to get the percentage. Another test we carry out on soil is called relative density test. And this is an important test that we carry out to verify the level of compaction of the soil and it is usually carried out for cohesionless soil. The higher the percentage of the relative density, the higher the level of compaction. Here, we can see in this table, if the relative density is between 0 up to 15, it means that the soil is very loose. And between 15 to 50, it is considered to be loose and it keeps getting denser till we finally reach 85 to 100 where the soil is very dense. The relative density is measured by Bloch equation, which is dr equals E max minus E, all over E max minus E minimum, all multiplied by 100, or gamma dry field minus gamma dry minimum, all divided by gamma dry maximum minus gamma dry minimum, all multiplied by gamma dry maximum over gamma dry field, all multiplied by 100. It is actually a pretty simple equation, and we will see this in the next example. Another test we have is called relative compaction, and it is another important index to identify the soil compaction level at site, and this test is usually carried out for cohesive soil. The RC, which is the relative compaction, equals to gamma dry field over gamma dry maximum, all multiplied by 100. So now, let's have an example on this. So let's check this example. We have a sand with minimum void ratio of 0.41 and maximum void ratio of 0.78. The actual void ratio is 0.576 and we want to calculate the relative density of this sand. So let's start by the input data that we already have. We have E minimum of 0.41, E maximum of 0.78, E actual of 0.576 and we want the relative density and we know that the relative density formula is E max minus E actual over E max minus E minimum all multiplied by 100 so this will be a direct substitution and it will come to be 55.1% so the answer is B 55% so let's check this example we have a soil sample of 10 cm wide by 10 cm long and 5 cm height. It is clay and it has dry weight of 32 kg. After that, the dried soil it was compacted to its minimum volume. The minimum volume became 
8.5 cm wide, 9 cm long, and 3.5 cm height. Now we want to know the relative compaction of this soil sample. So we have the dimension of the original sample. So first thing, we have the weight of the sample, which is 32 kg. We have the volume of the undisturbed sample, which we can call it here V-filled, which is 10 by 10 by 5, total of 500 centimeter cube. And we have the V-minimum, which was compacted, which is 8.5 by 9 by 3.5, which is total 267.75 centimeter cube. And we know that RC, which is the relative compaction, it equals gamma field over gamma maximum, all multiplied by 100. And we know that the gamma field equals weight over the volume of the field. So it will be 32 over 500, which is 0 0.064 kilogram per centimeter cube. And we will do the same to calculate the V maximum, which is the weight over V minimum. So it will be 32 over 267.75, which will equal 0 0.11 kilogram per centimeter cube. You have to notice here that the gamma maximum equals the weight over the V minimum. Because if the volume is minimum, this means that the density is at its highest. And vice versa, of course. If the volume is maximum, then this is the minimum density. So V maximum equals weight over V minimum. Now we can easily calculate the relative compaction, which is 0 0.064 over 0 0.119, all multiplied by 100 which equals 53.6%. So the answer will be D, which is the most approximate answer of 54%.